Good day Grade Tens. Welcome to the next lesson in Finance and Growth. And today we're looking at an application of simple interest and that is called a higher purchase. Now higher purchase is an agreement and it's a short term loan. It's a short term loan. It, items such as your furniture, your cars, your household appliances are often bought on HP which is a shortened term for the word higher purchase. Okay. Usually a deposit is paid and then the balance is paid off over a time period. The interest charge on the higher purchase loan is just plain simple interest. And you need to know that because sometimes the questions are going to say, John bought something on higher purchase, da 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 da, and you need to know that higher purchase is simple interest. So let's do an example. We have got Jamie Lee who buys a laptop. Jamie Lee buys a laptop. Okay, where's my pen? Jamie Lee buys a laptop for 12,595 rand. It's quite a nice laptop. She takes it out a 12 month HP loan. So immediately that we see that that's HP, well, we know what? We know that it is simple interest. So we go A is equal to P, one plus I N. Okay, so that's simple interest. She pays a deposit of 25%. And the interest charge on the balance is 15% per annum simple interest. 15% per annum simple interest. Okay, so let's have a look at this. First of all, what do we do? We need to work out how much she actually has taken for a loan because she paid 25% deposit. So her deposit is 25% of 12,595 Rand. Or we could say that that is a quarter of 12,595 Rand. So let's get our calculator out and pop it out and we're going to clear it and we're going to go 12,595 divided by 4 and we get 3,148 Rand and 75 cents. So she paid a deposit. So we see that she got, if we take 12,595 divided by 4, we get 3,148 Rand and 75 cents. That means that she paid a deposit of 3,148 Rand and 75 cents. Let's write that down here. So she paid a deposit of 3,100 and I've gone blank, 48 Rand and 75 cents. 48 Rand and 75 cents. That means that her loan is on the balance. So we have to work out the loan is on the balance of what was still owing, which is going to be 12,595 minus our 3,148 Rand and 75 cents. Okay, so let's again get our calculator out and we're going to clear it just to make sure we've got 12,595 and we're going to subtract 3148.75 and that gives us 9,446 Rand and 25 cents. 9,446 Rand and 25 cents. 9,446 Rand and 25 cents. And that is how much her loan is for. That's how much loan she's taken out. So if we had to write our variables, we go A, P, I, and N. Do you see that her principal of her loan, the amount of loan she actually needed was 9,446 Rand and 25 cents. The interest was 15% per annum. So it's 15 over 100, which equals 0, 0,15. And it says we took, she took out a 12 month HP loan, but please note that this is 15% per annum. So 12 months is one year, so the number of years is just one. So now we can pop this into our calculator because what is the first question? The first question says, what did she actually pay for the laptop? So first we're going to work out how much she actually pays back to for the HP loan. So we know that A is equal to P, which is 9446.25 times by 1 plus 0 0.15 times by 1. 
So now we're going to take our calculator again and we're going to bring it to the right hand side and we're going to say, okay, fine, we have got what? This is 9446.25 times by bracket 1 plus 0 0.25. I'm not going to fill the other bit in because 1 times 0 0.15 is just 1. I mean 0 0.15 and then it becomes 10,863 Rand and 19 cents. 10,863 Rand and 19 cents. So that becomes 10,863 Rand and 19 cents. But we haven't finished answering this question yet because it said what did she actually pay for the laptop? What did she pay? She paid the 10,863 and 19 cents but she'd already paid a deposit of 3,148 Rand and 75 cents. So if we add that, we'll find out what she totally paid for this laptop. So 9 and 5 is 14, carry 1. 7, 1 is 8, that's a 9. 8 and 3 is 11, carry 1. 6 and 4 is 10, 11, carry 1. 8 and 1, 9, 10, carry 1, that's a 4, and that's a 1. So do you see that for her laptop that cost 12,595 Rand, she actually paid 14,011 Rand and 94 cents. So she paid about 1,500 Rand extra for her laptop. Now it says, what were her monthly payments? What were her monthly payments? So what we need to now realize is that she paid out a total amount of 9,406, I mean, you just change the color, yeah? So you don't get confused between the two questions. We're now going to be looking at this. What were her monthly payments? So over the year, she paid out, what did she pay out? My bad. She Over the year, let me just erase the red thing. There we go. Over the year, she paid out 10,863 Rand and 19 cents. That means it took her 12 months to pay off 10,863 Rand and 19 cents. So to work out what her monthly payments are, her monthly payments, monthly repayments, payments would be the 10,863 and 19 cents divided by 12. And we're going to pop out our calculator again and bring it over to the left hand side. And what do we do? We get 10,863.19 divided by 12 and we end up with 1,098 Rand and 19 cents. So her repayments were 1,000 and 98 Rand and 19 cents. So not only did she pay a deposit of 3,148 Rand and 75 cents, but she paid a extra 1,098 Rand and 19 cents for 12 months to pay off her laptop. Let's look at another example. Nabila buys an iPod for 1,350 Rand. She pays a 15% deposit and then pays 18% per annum simple interest in the remaining amount. She pays the loan off in eight equal installments. Determine how much she paid in total for the iPod after six months, how much her monthly installments were, and how much interest she paid. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. First of all, let's see what we've got. We've got Nabila bought an iPod for originally 1,350 Rand. She paid 15% deposit. So let's work out first of all what her deposit was. Her deposit was 15% of 1,350 Rand. So the way we write that is 15 over 100 times by 1,350. So if we get our calculator out, we can go 15 times 1350 equals divided by 100. And you find that she has paid 202 Rand and 50 cents. So she has paid 202 Rand and 50 cents. Right. So that was a deposit. So therefore we can work out how much she took a loan out for. So a loan 
was for the balance is for the balance of what still remains. So the loan was for 1,350 Rand minus our 202 Rand and 50 cents and we're going to get out our calculator again and we're going to go clear 1350 minus 202.50 and we get 1147 Rand and 50 cents. 1147 Rand and 50 cents. So it becomes 1147 Rand and 50 cents. So that's how much her loan was for. Okay, so if we had to do this, again we know it's high purchase, simple interest, so therefore it's going to be A P I N. It says how much she paid in total for the iPod after six months. In other words, she paid it off in that six months. So we want to know how much she paid. The principal of the loan was 1,147 Rand and 50 cents. Now, this is what's interesting. The interest is 15%, sorry, 18% simple interest. It's 18% simple interest, which we know is 18 divided by 100, which is going to be 0 0.18, okay? But how many years did she pay for? She paid for half a year, so that is half a year. So if we had to substitute this in, we go A is equal to P, 1 plus IN, which equals 1147.50, times by 1 plus 0 point, hmm, let me just fix that, sorry. Better. 0 0.18 times 0 0.5, that's your half. Okay, and we can pop that in our calculator again, so let's do that. Okay, so if we pop it in our calculator, we've got 1147.50 times bracket 1 plus bracket 0 0.18 times 0 0.5 close bracket close the second bracket equals and we get 1250 rand and 78 cents so we get 1258 rand and 78 cents now they asked us what we, she paid in total so in order to work out the total we need to take her deposit her deposit and add it to the amount, the total amount of money she paid on her loan. So we're going to add the 202 rand and 50 cents. So that becomes an 8, 7 and 5 is 12, carry 1. That's a 3, that's a 5, that's a 4 and a 1. So she paid a total of 1,453 rand and 28 cents. 1,453 rand and 28 cents. Now they've asked it, how much were her monthly installments? But they told us that she paid it in eight equal installments. Eight equal installments. So let me change color. So now we're looking at question B. It says, how much were her monthly installments? So the amount of money she had to pay off in installments was 1,250 Rand. 1,250 Rand and 78 cents. So she had to pay off 1,250 Rand and 78 cents, but she paid it in eight equal installments. So if we divide this by eight, we will find out exactly how much she paid per installment. So let's have a look at that. That becomes 1250.78 divided by eight and that is 156 rand and 35 cents. So that becomes 156 rand and 35 cents. Okay, now finally it says, and again, let me change color before we even address the next question. There we go. We now ask in letter C, how much interest she paid? Well, let's think about this. This is the amount of money that she took a loan out for. She took a loan out for 1,147 Rand and 50 cents. And this was the total amount of money she paid on that loan. So her loan 
was 1,147 rand and 50 cents. The amount she paid on her loan, paid on the loan, was 1,250 rand and 78 cents. Therefore, do you agree that if I take the amount she paid on a loan of 1,250 rand and 78 cents and I subtract the amount of money that her loan was for, we will get her interest, the actual interest she paid. And the interest she paid is what? Let's go get our calculator again. So we've got 1250.78 minus 1147.50. So the interest she paid was 103 Rand and 28 cents. Interest she paid was 103 Rand and 28 cents. So grade tens, this was actually a little bit more complicated than the basic simple interest. You needed to think about the fact that you had deposits and now we started doing something interesting like working out what her monthly installments were, how much interest she actually paid and how much it really cost to take something out on your higher purchase. Please make sure you know how to do all of this and then go do the assessments at the end of the section. Thank you grade tens, have a lovely day.